I still have my Royal Champion left. Like, what more do you want to see? I still have my entire Royal Champion left, and this is hard mode. Oh my god. We're back in our home clan, preparing for CWL, and many people have asked me for an army that is, well, useful for hard mode. So over here, I'm just going to take you guys to one fireball attack that I know for sure is really, really strong for hard mode. You might have even seen some pros really cover it recently, and I'm just going to take you guys through it. It's, we're going back to our double hero charge with the fireball, and it's just going to be really, really fun. So let's just go right into some attacks, and I'll show you what I'm what I mean <laughs> so these are some really really good bases like they're more or less anti-fireball they're very very spread out you can see but that's where the second half of this attack kind of shines maybe you can't do much with your fireball but your queen charge can actually go ahead and get a lot of value and on these bases I would recommend running the earthquake boots with the spiky ball not the giant gauntlet which I'm currently doing because I don't really have it that leveled up, so that, just getting that information out of the way. Maybe what I'll do over here is just start off with a simple warden walk, nothing much to it. I think if I get a fireball on the scatter shot, I should be able to get a good chunk out of the base out of the way, and we can move on from there. It's nothing too complicated, and that's good enough for me. Honestly, even going for just this air defense, I'll I'll take that value. Remember, it's two earthquakes now. I might not even get that ricochet cannon, but that's okay. We should be able to easily snipe it off, no problems at all. Right, so now we're in a relatively safe spot. I think what I'll do is I'll just rage up my Warden so that he can easily handle the damage by the multi-archer tower over there. He should turn over, yeah, yeah, this looks fine. So now the best part about this is you just need to give your Warden like kind of a moment to just observe where he wants to even walk. Looks like he's going towards the town hall, which works for us. That's totally fine. What I'll do in the meantime is I'll just drop off Yeti out over here and lo it looks like he's gonna more or less hang around in this area, right? So I can just zoom out and sit just like this and in the meantime I can start my queen at the bottom. Notice how I've given around one minute for this attack to kind of shape up. Uh, it's totally fine. So now you just have to make sure that each of your heroes kind of funnel for each other. There's nothing much to it. Warden is totally safe. And everybody can just go on doing their own thing. So now I'll drop the siege bags at the bottom. Okay, this is a good time to rage up my warden as well. It is hard mode. These guys take a lot more damage from these defenses. And yeah, he'll just handle the monolith. Siege bags down at the bottom. Perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Just continuously notice I'm playing on a phone and I'm just sitting over here entirely zoomed out. So now the siege bags have funneled the bottom corner, which should allow my king to come in from this bottom right corner because my queen will handle the bottom left area so we should be fine just keep just keep yourself zoomed out and I'm, i can assure you you can absolutely dominate this it's not too difficult maybe now what i can do is i can support my warden on the back end with the help of the rocket spear and you can see guys like this is just shaping up so well i still have these rocket balloons to use as well what's even left what is even left honestly so this is why I feel this is a very strong attack because if you can't get too much fireball value you don't have to worry about it too much. Your queen charge can do so much for you. There's not too much damage on her like you guys saw. I didn't really invest too much into her and she managed to just kind of keep sustaining the damage on her. She dealt with the clan castle. I have four swag spells and I have a hero ability left after this. I'm telling you guys this is a really 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 strong attack for hard mode. And if it's able to do this in hard mode, just imagine what it could do for your normal mode. We have two earthquakes for this one. You can use one earthquake for the fireball and one earthquake for your royal champion. But I couldn't do that this time and we still got away with so many spells not needed. I'll show you some more examples. Next base over here. Some of you might recognize this as a base that Stars had recently run in a tournament. And we're going to have to deal with it ourselves now. So... Once again, the same army. Nothing much to really think about it. Mm, I don't see too much of fireball value once again. So maybe we can go for something a little simpler. Like just targeting a rage tower. So I'll have to honestly charge this much with my warden and then get a fireball on the rage tower. And that's good enough for me. It's just so that I don't have to deal with the clan castle. And that single inferno waiting for me in the core out over there. So I, I think that's pretty good value. I will take that any day. Maybe I'll just give a little bit of a funnel to my warden like this initially and I'll just have my eyes ready 
on the Royal Champion, which is going to inevitably, inevitably start targeting my Warden over here. Yeah, we managed to protect him just fine. We dropped the resources perfectly. And we should be good, we should be good. So, I'll just drop this uh, cannon out of the way as well. I don't want my Warden to wear off towards this air defense on the top, because I just want to get the fireball out of the way, and we can quickly move on from there. So I think this should be good enough. Yep, that should get out the value that I'm looking for. Nothing much to it, pretty pretty simple value. And let's see, I'm not sure how my warden is gonna work. Just give him a slight moment. You can see again, around the one minute mark, that's all we're looking for. Yep, one minute mark, we've hit it, and there we go. We can just let my warden kind of do his own thing now. So it's just the same principle over and over again. Now I'm just gonna zoom out like this, kind of look. I'm not gonna reach my warden up, that way he doesn't get into the single inferno range before having to deal with the clan castle. So this is perfect for me. I might have to freeze this. I don't want to lose those healers. And yeah, in general, we have those Coco loons to help us out. So once again, we'll go to this principle of uh, ensuring that my heroes can kind of funnel for each other. And let's see. Maybe I can drop a siege Brax out over here. I think that should be fine. Now I can consider raging my warden up as he's about to get closer to that single inferno. Or do I even need to rage him up? Nah, I'll just give him a invis spell. This should be fine. Before we start running out of time, let me also look into just making sure that each phase of the attack can keep going on. Yeah, I think that's a very, very nice uh, wall break as well. Yeah, so all we have to do now is just consider cleaning up behind everybody one at a time. So you can see how it's all shaping up over here. Nothing much to do really for us. I'm just dropping my Royal Champion over there at the left side of the base. You can see how they've all more or less kind of funneled for each other. Nothing too complicated. I'll just save my Rocket Spear for this back end Rage Tower. Really, really simple. So I think now's a good time to pop her ability as well. She should be able to help out uh, with this entire Raged area. And we can keep cleaning up behind her. Pretty simple value. Yeah, I think it'll come close, but my Royal Champion and my Warden Charge should honestly be able to clear most of this. I think we can just start cleaning up as well, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad at all. I think it'll be super tight on time, but you can see, hard mode is meant to be hard, and we can still, we still manage to get it down. Like, I am talking to you guys while I'm executing this, and you can still see it just works. So... All you have to do is just very consciously kind of zoom out and watch everybody at the same time. And while you do so, just make sure your heroes are kind of helping each other out. So, for example, simple plan over here. Warden charged this core. Queen charged this town hall area. Siege packs came over here to support my king to enter from further up on the base. And Royal Champion just cleaned up what was even left on this side of the base. So, just simple plans like that. It's not too complicated. You can see it shape up if you zoom out. Let's just do one more example for you guys. For the last one, we're gonna run into this really toxic base where it can be really, really difficult to charge the core, both our warden as well as our queen. So we're just gonna go for a simple fireball. Mm, maybe what I'm thinking is, if I target this bomb tower, I can probably grab the clan castle out. So that's just a really good value that I can see off the bat. And for flame flinger, I think what I'll do is I'll spare one rocket loom to check for Tesla's over here. There's none, so that works perfectly for us. And I'll just drop some minions to help clean up behind my warden in the meantime as well. I think that should be pretty good. So let's just give it a moment for my warden to kind of converge towards that multi-inferno area. And he can just keep working from there. Mm, no, there's no need for me to reach him up. That damage can be perfectly sustained. So we'll, we'll just let him work for a bit. Maybe what I can do right away is this, just to get that fireball down. I hope that's good enough. All right, nice. Okay, I got the clan castle out of the way. That's just that's just humongous for me. So <laughs> we're well sorted now. I think my warden can handle the damage up top. And honestly, this hero farm on the bottom over here, my frozen arrow, that's where it comes into clutch. My frozen arrow can absolutely demolish that area without needing too much of support. And we don't even have the clan castle to deal with now. So honestly, just gonna work really, really well for us. Maybe I can help funnel the top of this base to push my warden a little closer to the core. And we can just forget about him. He's practically safe out there. There's no more damage for him. 
I'll drop my skeleton spell over here to protect my queen. And you can see it, just frozen arrow doing frozen arrow things. <laughs> Splendid work. I don't need to do much for her. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Maybe I can just start pushing my king into the right side of the base because as I was saying, your heroes need to kind of funnel for each other. Let me just protect my warden really briefly. He should be able to sustain that damage now. Ah, oh, that's fine. I'll just give my king a moment to kind of work his way into the base as well. Looks like my queen doesn't also want to. <laughs> my queen wants to break in from over here rather than walk in naturally. That's fine. There's not much I can do about that. We'll just have to work with it. She should be able to eventually push her way to the monolith. And once she does, she is. there's no way she's not going to survive that area. Like, there's no damage left for her. I still have 8 rocket loons left. My warden is still very, very healthy and should start helping out as well. And guys, I still have my royal champion left. Like, what more do you want to see? I still have my entire royal champion left and this is hard mode. Oh my god. I don't know what to say. I still got 30 seconds left on the board. I still got my full entire hero I'm swagging in hard mode. If this is not proof enough that this is one of the strongest armies that you can try out for this mode. If not normal mode, <laughs> then <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. But... This is, in my opinion, just a really, really stable army, provided that you keep in mind that you have to just kind of zoom out and relax, just observe your heroes. There's no need to really focus on any particular one. It's very, very easy. You have a lot of protective hero equipment in this one, rather than damaging hero equipment. The giant gauntlet on the king reduces damage. Frozen arrow on the queen. The fireball anyways protects you from damage in a way. And of course, the seeking shield and rocket spear on the royal champion all very protective equipment so it's very very safe to try out on hard mode do give it a try and let me know in the comments i'll see you guys in the next one peace